Welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all doing well and as you can see the camera's looking better this time I'm looking fresh on the camera because we've got a brand new camera The audio might be a bit shit, but you're going to have to deal with it So today is a common video idea among all of us YouTubers Every now and again we'll forget ideas or I've actually got ideas coming up even And I haven't just executed them yet But in the meantime you have to make just some of those shitty videos That is just like my top 10, the top 10 things I hate I'm just pushing the content out there, just just have it, just have it Have anything I, I can give you Oh god I'm not selling myself well here am I So with that said it's getting colder, the seasons are changing And it's now coming up to winter This video is 10 things that I hate about winter. Number one, first off, no one really likes winter. People despise it. But at least if, if it's gonna be cold, like just fucking be cold. Like do it properly. Like God, if you're up there, if you're gonna actually make it be cold on us, at least do your job properly. You know what I mean? Just get the job done. Like make there's no there's never any like serious snow. It's always a bit icy, sludgy. Like I don't know what that is. Like come on, God, God. All right, no pun intended. Hello. The next one is for the adults out there, because I know apparently adults watch my content. So that's my demographics. Gas bills are. F Don't even get me started on gas bills. Someone tell me why you're paying John Terry salary to pay your gas bill. In the winter, you're obviously going to turn your heating on, that's acceptable, yeah? But for some reason, your house just doesn't want to warm up. So you have to leave it on for 48 hours. That's like a challenge. Moving on, we got apparel inconvenience. You know, we, we, we all have to put our coats on during the winter, even indoors. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, does it? I'm not sure if it's just me that wears a coat indoors. I don't know. And you have to wear a coat everywhere. This is the thing that pisses me off, yeah? With coats, you'll never hear a coat that's silent. This is the noise you'll get with a coat. The, the most annoying noise. The worst noise there is. This noise here, like, just bin yourself. But who designed that to make that noise? This coat needs some WD-40, if you know what I'm saying. So then in the winter, you have to buy yourself a coat. That's more money. Then you have to buy yourself a sweater. I've never even worn a sweater. That's like some American term. But you have to buy yourself some sweater. And then for, for, the, for the younger audience out there, if you've ever had this when you're younger, your mum or your parents will tell you to wrap yourselves up. What do you mean? As if we didn't already know it's cold outside. We're not going to go outside, yeah, in Lacoste shorts and a vest. So what do you do when it's winter? You stay inside, you watch the TV, you might even watch the news if you're a bitch. So the weather forecast comes on, for some reason they said it's going to expect to be cold and miserable. Who paid you to state the fucking obvious? Like, as if we didn't know that. Like, thank you, you're getting paid, I don't know how much you're getting paid, but you're getting paid to just say them lines. It's expected to be cold, no further details, it's going to be cold, it's going to be miserable. I didn't even need a calculator to work that out. In these horrible seasons, all sport just becomes absolute, uh, it's, just, it's awful. Like, it's absolute dog shit. Like, watching football, all the big teams now become League 2 teams for some reason, they just start kicking it about, just not even wondering where it is, the bitch. And actually playing football yourself, a lot of you might relate to this, on like a cold Tuesday morning, the mitre, the size 5 mitre ball, the slap on the, on the thigh, or core, that, that, that'd be shit, wouldn't it? Like, you, that's to the point where you just wasn't enjoying football at all. The pitch would be drier than my content as well. Sickness, everyone, sickness, oh my god. You're gonna be needing a hell of a lot of paracetamols and whatnot just to keep you alive. The thing is though, I don't get, I don't get you, Winter. I'm, I, I'm talking to you, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, the old and zingy's just gone. He just had a, he had a bit of a voice break, but I don't know what that was about. You bitch. So I'm talking to you, Winter, yeah. I'm actually talking to you. You're a bitch. I mean, summer, spring, autumn. I mean, uh, is there even an autumn? Like, and spring is basically just summer and winter. But all the other seasons are nice to us. They do us well, yeah, for our health. And then as soon as it, the sun actually gives us vitamin D in the summer. But in the winter, it decides to make us ill for no reason. So now, even if your winter was it's gone even shitter now because you're stuck indoors and you're ill and you can't do all. Dry skin, like between your knuckles especially and your hands, like you just get and the, the elbows and knees, yeah. Like your body, like you, you start to think you're like the tree man. You know the tree man, you've got, you've got like bark legs, but you've got like bark shin pads and the elbows. It becomes so rough to the point where you literally might as well start your own company, sandpaper and walls. Gaining weight everyone. So we're inside, so what do we do? We just buy loads of food, sit there. We don't go out doing exercise, we just eat loads. So then we just become morbidly obese. Now when it comes to winter, we just, we're all fat. Alexa, am I fat? Hmm, I don't know that one. Well, well you're lying then, aren't you? 
Right, if you're watching this video, do not buy an Alexa, yeah? His views do not re represent me. The last one is the fact that you get addicted to whatever you're doing, and I'm not talking any of the bad stuff. But it is bad, it's very bad. For example, last year, I was stuck indoors the whole of winter, pretty much, because it was so cold, I didn't want to go out. So then that's when Fortnite arrived, for me anyway. I'm sure a lot of you obviously probably started first playing it this year, maybe started this year, but I started last year in winter. And that is where it ruined my life. Like, look up, look at our civilization, as they say today. Like, what is it? Like, in the summer, everyone just said Fortnite's dead, and like, it's never gonna come back, it's finished. You know, all of them people are just gonna be hopping back in their lobby of playground. But that is all we got for today's video. Thank you ever so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe down below, and also let me know your thoughts in the comments. It really does do one wonders to me you know it does help me out like a lot i will appreciate that and i will be replying to every single one of you yes i'm pointing right at your face i'll be back with more content soon and in a bit